I'm about to show you something that no one else in the world has seen yet. Steve Jobs was an inventor and an artist, but we don't really know about the history of what made Jobs great. It's a tool for the heart. That's limitless. He was a man struggling against all odds to fulfill his visions of things that did not exist. I'd like to introduce you to the iPod. So the film starts when he's this kind of rebellious kid and carries through all the way to the invention of iPod. Boss! What are you working on? It's a computer terminal that hooks up to the TV, and in theory, it'll display whatever you're working on. Uh, Steve? Wow. At that time, nobody understood the concept of coming home to an actual computer that you would type on, and Jobs could see what it would become. We're working in a market that doesn't even exist yet. Cheese! Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. So embarrassing. Trust me, I'm my eye. After today, you will never look at computers the same way again. You've got a guy who wants to change the world. And he had a precision laser-like focus. You gotta just start over. I wanted to know what you want to do before you even know you want to do it. He's like a guy with blinders on, so anybody else is immaterial unless they're on his same track to achieve what he's thinking. Chasing dreams since I was 14. Y'all can't stop me. Steve, you're on the Macintosh team now. <laughs> What's a Macintosh? He's like a kid in a candy store and hemorrhaging the company's dollar on fantasies that are not possible. They're not seeing the big picture. I'm trying to build an apple, and they're taking it away from me? The board is unanimous. Steve will no longer be involved in this company. It's an unbelievable story that takes us on this journey of where the information age began. 10 years after Steve Jobs' departure, the future of Apple Computer is in jeopardy. Steve. Look at your back. In life, you only get to do so many things. We're gonna make Apple cool again. You look around and you see the great products, but a lot of times people fail to look and go, well, who is responsible for a part of your everyday world? And this is his story. The people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Jesus. Nope, it's just Steve. <laughs>